answer some really good questions that someone asked on a recent video of mine. They said, when you tell sponsors your fee for a video, do you ask them to pay you up front? And is there usually a contract? If so, from you or from the brand? These are great questions to ask because not many people cover these sort of things, especially around contracts. There's something elusive about them. Clients and brands will always act like they don't want a contract. And here's my number one rule, law, you should have it too, is that you never do anything without a contract. My first client work that I did, I did it for free, so I didn't even get paid. I did it with zero contract because I didn't think I needed one. And that came back to bite me. The person harassed me and gave me a hard time about all sorts of stuff. And I wished I had a contract. So it was a law after that for me, where it's just, doesn't matter if it's free or if I'm getting paid $100 or $100,000. There's going to be a contract that lays out clearly expectations. That's what a contract is. And if you don't like using the word contract, the word that I use often with sponsorships and clients is I call it an agreement. This way it doesn't seem so scary when you use the word contract. So rule number one, always have a contract. Now, who creates the contract? Specifically with sponsorship, sometimes the brand will decide that they want to have a contract. Maybe they have lawyers and they already got a contract that they use quite typically with influencers and sponsorships and things like that. But don't just assume that whatever is in that contract is something you have to agree to. All contracts or agreements are negotiable. Do not sign them until you are okay with everything that's listed in there. You can push back on certain things. You can ask to have certain things included if you don't see them there already in the contract. I've done this many times where a brand has a contract that they want to use. I say, hey, that looks really great. I would love if this was included. Otherwise, I'm not really feeling great about signing it right now. And a lot of times they'll say, yeah, that sounds awesome. They'll include it in there, double check it's worded properly and that it's all in there and then sign it when you feel 100% satisfied with what's in there. If you can't, then maybe you're not going to work with that client. And that's where you have to be okay with that situation, but always remember that there is something that you can do. Maybe they're willing to negotiate on something else that was pretty firm for them that you're not comfortable with, and you'll be able to negotiate something that they're not comfortable with that you felt firm about. So remember, contracts are not set in stone. You can decide changes with them. Now, in my case, sometimes I'm using my own contract and it's something that I've compiled over the years of working with a lot of different clients where I find these are the things that I want to agree to quite typically. So it always has that in my contract. And then if once again, they say they want something specific and I'm okay with it, I will include it inside of my contract and send it over to them for signing. Just remember that there will be some back and forth most likely around contracts because most people want to make sure that they're happy with what's in there. And that's a good thing. You want both people to have read it, to understand it, and not just agree to whatever's there because it might mean they didn't read it and they won't actually hold up their end of whatever the agreement's talking about. So it's really important that you're okay with that negotiation process and that way you can hold each other accountable to what's in there. Now, as far as what should be inside of your contract, obviously I'm not a lawyer, I can't give you advice, but I am gonna cover some of my typical things that I put inside of my contracts because why not? Everybody should know about them. But I'm gonna be doing that inside of my Sponsorship Secrets newsletter. So if you're not signed up for that, I highly recommend it. It's totally free. I will link it down in the description. So I'll cover more of that there. But specifically when it comes around the question here of do you ask to be paid up front? If you're not covering this inside of your contract, you definitely should because obviously you wanna get paid and the company or client that you're working with needs to know how they're gonna pay you and how they should expect to pay you. Now, when it comes to being paid up front, I typically agree to getting paid at least all up front or half up front. 50% deposit is what it's called, is considered completely normal and that's something that I stick to if a brand's not comfortable paying all up front or if we're doing a really large project, maybe several thousand dollars, and they don't wanna pay $10,000 upfront. So I'm okay with having a 50%, so say it's $10,000, that's $5,000 deposit upfront. You sign the contract, you have to pay $5,000 before I even start working on the content that we agreed to. 
The reason for this is that it protects you from doing work and never getting paid for it. Say they back out, they go bankrupt or whatever, you're not gonna wanna be in the middle of having already created the whole video or whatever it is that you're working on and find out you never got paid a dime for it. So that's why I do 50% upfront. And then a lot of times you can get paid the rest of it when you complete the work or in a timely manner sometime after the deposit window. It's completely up to you and it's also completely up to the brand and what they're comfortable with. Some brands have policies around this. It just depends on how large the client or brand it is that you're working with. But hopefully that answers a few of your questions. If you do have any more, put them down in the comments. I'm gonna be answering more in videos like this, but also inside of my newsletter, which you should be signed up for because it's free. So I'll see you guys. Thank you.